Hey, what's up team? Eddie Gray here with the YouTube channel, The Modern Creative. And over at PSP Audio, where they don't like to give away candy on Halloween, but they do like to give away free plugins. Check out PSP Step Delay. This is a great plugin. Let me show you how I like to use it. So number one, we gotta set up the delay time in general, right? So that's over here on the right hand side. Now we're gonna do it in such a way where we're not synced to the host tempo at first. So essentially free time. All right, cool. Now, you could filter that out if you wanted to. You've got a low cut and a high cut filter here. We could also have this sync to the project tempo. So I have Logic Pro set up at 100 BPM. So if I set this up here, now the note on the left denotes how many repetitions we'll get. The note on the right is all about which note is it going to play back. Is it gonna be an eighth note, a quarter note, what have you. So be careful how you have your output set up because obviously we're gonna hear both the dry and the wet. So let me go ahead and drop the dry and we'll just hear the wet signal. Here we go. All right, now if you wanna hear more of the delay, go ahead and increase the feedback over here. Let's uh, take a listen. All right, so fair warning, things can get a little crazy with delays. So I love this button here. I can just click and it'll cancel out that feedback loop. So let's say things do get carried away. I can click, hold, problem solved. So we have a tap delay function as well. Something I have never seen though, really interesting. If you have this locked into your host tempo and you hold the option key on a Mac, you can actually dictate the BPM of the delay so it actually differs from your DAW's project BPM. So I'm set at 100, like I said. What if I wanted to go double time? I could have this delay be set to 200 BPM if necessary. And now I have more creative freedom. Something I also found interesting was this feed button on the lower left. Like if there was ever a time you just didn't want the delay to work, you can actually just have it bypass just for that one second. So it's not like the whole plugin is bypassed, it's just bypass for that one instance. So for example, here we're listening to the delay. And then let's just say we don't wanna hear it for the next two beats or what have you. You can just click and hold and you're not hearing it. So of course this is contingent on your dry wet setting, so just a heads up. But let's say we wanted to do something a little bit different now. I'm gonna go ahead and set this back to free tempo and I'm gonna go ahead and start using the LFO. So this is now a filter working in conjunction and things can get very weird. Now you won't actually start hearing anything until you lift up the depth knob down here. So let's go ahead and take a listen. Now, which waveform should you choose, right? They all kind of sound a little bit different. Well, you've got the option of selecting triangle, square, and spike. I haven't really seen this function as well. So the fact that this is a free plugin, giving it to you, right? Pretty amazing. So let's take a listen to this. If you wanna play with the phase settings of the left and the right channel, you can play with spread. In fact, you can check out the two little lights that are flashing here. If I set it over to the left, you can kind of see that the timing of the delays change. So that's another really, really interesting feature. There's another feature I really like as well, and that's the glide function here. So when I'm making a delay decision, and let's say I wanted to go from like, I don't know, 16th to a quarter note, well, obviously the delay is gonna to respond to that, that response can be manipulated by using this glide button. So instead of a smooth transition, why don't we go for a very slow transition? So let's see what this sounds like.
on the left hand side we have the input gain let's say you're just not getting enough of the signal go ahead and lift that up now built into the plugin is a limiter which they're not showing you but one of the things that i like about this plugin is it's showing you how hard it's actually going in to the unit and hence how hard it's being saturated so for example let me increase the input gain and let me really try and get this to saturate you'll notice it here next to the feedback button check it out All right, so you see how it's turning red right there? That's telling me that I have an aggressive signal and we're getting a lot of color. If I pull back from the gain knob, it's not gonna hit it as hard. Check it out. Yeah, so that is absolutely nuts. The fact that you can determine how colored or how hot the signal is and you can get a nice lush delay as a result. Again, the LFO depth knob is there for you to use in tandem with the delay, if you want to get some ping pong action, this is where you utilize ping pong. So let's go ahead and listen to uh, ping pong set over to the right channel. Here we go. Yeah, I personally love it when you can get that syncopated feel with delays. The fact that you could then filter those delays, the fact that you could use an LFO rate in conjunction with those delays, it's amazing. Now over here on the right, we have an image knob. So this is either going to set you up in mono, stereo, or inverted stereo. On the right hand side, I think this is often overlooked, but you definitely have to consider the proportion to the dry sound and the wet sound, right? Sometimes you want just the wet sound, sometimes you want the dry sound. In my case, we're just playing some white noise out. So let me go ahead and remove that from the signal and just hear the delay. So we're just hearing the result of the white noise coming through the actual delay. So honestly, I find myself just kind of losing myself in this plugin, super hypnotic. You can get a bunch of different rhythms and soundscapes, really great. On the left-hand side, we have a feedback button, which I really like. Like maybe there is a point in your song where you don't want the delay to play out. So in other words, the plugin is still on, but maybe just for two beats, you kind of want to bypass it. So the plugin is still on, but we want to bypass it for those two beats. That's what this is good for. So I'll play the delay once, I'll bypass it for two. Here we go. Of course, we have a bypass button here on the right hand side, but the one thing I don't want you to sleep on is that feedback knob, because that's definitely going to save you when things do get a little hectic, as I said before. So other than that, I highly recommend you check out the presets. There's a lot of good stuff here. Uh, as to be expected from anything that this great company makes, let's check out Tape Echo 2. All right, let's go for window blinds. Here we go. So again, if you don't want to hear any of that dry signal, just go ahead and turn it off. Yeah, I'm definitely excited about using this to like really color my backgrounds, if you know what I mean. Yeah, overall, phenomenal plugin, great price, free 99. And a big thank you to PSP Audioware for continuing to pour into the communities of creatives everywhere. Thank you so much. You guys, let's keep moving forward. Thank you so much for all the support that I've been getting from the PSP community here. Much love to you. Let's keep going up. I'll see you later. Bye.